Okay, tonight we're going to do a little black and white with a little sprinkle of red, guys. So what we're going to do is this gorgeous sign right here. Merry Christmas, and the only red that's on it is a few little berries. This sign is rather large. It's an 8 by 12, okay? So it's, um, hi, Debbie. And, um... That's what we're going to be doing. So, let me show you how we're going to do it. I've got a 15-inch elevated wreath frame, and um, it's got uh, 18 ties. I did not make this one myself. I bought it like this. Christmas is basically the only time of the year that I will buy elevated forms unless they're on sale. I usually make all of my elevated forms out of just an elevated frame, okay? So first, what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, thank you, Ashley. Hi, Wanda. Your sign? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, and thanks for coming back. I love Christmas, and I've just been crafting away, guys. Crafting, crafting away. And you know what? It's going so fast, it's going to be over before we know it. So first off, I'm just going to lay down some fast 10-inch poofs. So I just folded my mesh over, and I'm just going to bring it all together. And I seen one little corner that snuck down in there a little bit. And I'm just going to go in front of a tie. I'm just going to pick a tie. You know what? I like this tie. Don't know why. <laughs> And I zip tie mine down. Hi, Janie. And I also, um, a lot of people just tie them in, and that's perfectly fine. Whatever you're used to doing, I zip tie my in because I had a catastrophe one time, and it all came apart. All came apart, guys. I was so embarrassed, and it happened right in front of the lady that um, bought it. I guess I wiggled it around too much. It was probably my fault. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to clean this up. Keep the back clean. Let me get my little bucket over here. And like I said, we're just going to do some 10-inch poofs. Just some regular 10-inch poofs. Um, because I just want a good, firm base. And I just want a little bit of the white showing through with the other mesh we're going to use, okay? So I like to poof mine as I go along. I measure out from the 20 to the 10. That's what's in front of me on my uh, mat. You can always take, if you don't have a mat, you can take a yardstick and lay it up or a ruler. Measure out to 10 and work it that way. I'm just twisting it one time, guys. the last poof going around the outside. This is the last poof and um, we'll start to the front. But it's been rather chilly um, here that we've had a fire every morning. It did get up a little warmer today. So right now I am going to bring this on over up to the top and then I also like to zip tie mine right here in front of that next tie. Okay? It's going to zip tie it down. No. Hi, Mary. How are you? I hope everyone's having a blessed, blessed Saturday. Okay, let me move. Oh, I zip tied my tie. <laughs> well, that proved prove interesting. 
Now I'm going to go around and I'm just going to open all of these inside ones so that it goes a little smoother, guys. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope you enjoy yourself, Kathy. We're just a bunch of regular old people here. So if you've got any questions, throw them out there. I'm going to do 10 inch poofs on the inside. And if you'll ask anyone that's watched me for a live, I'm a little kooky. Hi, Susan. And I love Christmas, guys. Love, love Christmas. So right now, we're going to, where we bypassed it, well, I've got that all tangled up in there. Let me get it untangled. There we go. While I bypass that inner loop, I'm just going to push it way down in there. I like these frames that have the, the tinsel um, longer ties on them. Okay, we're all the way around it. I'm just going to cut a healthy portion off, okay, and that's all we're going to be using with the white. Then I'm going to take this, stick it in between my two layers, flip it over, and yes, I'm going to zip tie it again. There we go. Hi, Sybil. How have you been? Now I'm just going to trim it up to keep my back nice and clean. Cut off my zip tie. And there we go. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to put my ties to where I can find them. And like I said, we're using a rather large sign, but it's going to look adorable, guys. Okay. I think I've got these all straightened out. And I'll show you that cute mesh. Black and white stripe. This is a poly jute mesh, guys. Poly jute. I forgot all about being able to find black and white poly jute. Poly jute is my favorite favorite. Oh, really? Vacationing. Ooh, that sounds so much fun. So I'm going to lay this over here. These are, um, pieces are cut to 20 inches. 20 inches, guys. So all I'm going to do, if I can keep it from sticking is I'm just going to fold it under, okay? Just going to fold it under, and then I'm just going to ruffle it, and I'm doing a pretty tight ruffle. I want the ruffle to be pretty tight because when you make your ruffles tighter, they flare out better. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, I'll help you clean it out, Beverly. <laughs> I love ribbon. And then I'm just going to bring it around like you would a flower. Okay? Because that's the way I want it to stick. Okay? 
and I'm just going to keep going until I've got one of these in every one of them, guys. Black and white, they make the most beautiful wreaths. I made one last year. I make one every year, a black and white wreath. I'm just doing a little splash of red in this one that I didn't do in the one last year. Jute, and I was so excited when I found this in my stash. I'm actually talking with some vendors that about different colors of poly jute that um, I want to carry in my shop. So that will be after the first of the year. I'm just opening these up on the top to make it easier for us to lay down these ruffles. Yes, nice birthday party. Oh, really? Well, we'll celebrate together, Flo. Celebrate together. You know, I'm dolly and I'm going backwards now. <laughs> I'm really dialed in. You know, that Back to the Future movie? Mmm, <laughs> pretty, pretty. my solitude. I mean, I love it. If I'm having a bad day or tired, I can come out here and read and I just have a blast. I mean, it's so calming. It's just, it's hard to describe. It's my calm, my soothing. Okay. Last piece. The um, the mesh. This all came from Craft Outlet. I don't know how long ago it's been since I bought the black and white. Like I said, I forgot I had it. And then the white is just a, a, that I did the poofs with 
was just a regular white. There's no metallic in it or anything. This is a poly jute, the black and white, a poly jute mesh with the natural fibers in it. Okay. And that's what we've got so far, guys. Isn't that stinking adorable? And here is the sign that we're going to be putting with it. Right here. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to make y'all sick with all the wiggling. Right there's the sign. See the real red cherry? Okay, so we got our poofs, we've got our ruffles, and now for the ribbons. I've got this one and a half inch. This is glitter, guys. The white is glittered, the black is glittered. Isn't that gorgeous? Some black and white panty ribbon. Panty ribbon, I love it. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Then I've got this black and it's all glitter and it's got a tinsel edge on it one and a half inch then i've got this one that sort of matches the one and a half inch but it's a two and a half inch all glitter and then i'm adding some more after we get this in to the bow so I paired the pandy ribbon with the small one and a half inch, fold them in half. I cut them to 13 inches. Thank you. Ruffle it up the middle. Pull it down towards me. And then we're going to put them in. Twist our ties. Then I'm just sort of pulling them out to the side a little bit. And these ribbons are beautiful, guys. Let me get a few in and I'll show you. <laughs> no joke, right? Glitter is just spectacular. Spectacular. They've always said diamonds was the girl's best friend. Ah, uh, glitter's mine. <laughs> Just buy me ribbon. Just get me ribbon. Glittery ribbon. I'm not cutting the rest of these ties off. They'll blend in. <clears throat> Give it just a tad bit more texture. Love glitter? Yes. I hear ya. Me too.
ribbons going around the bottom. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here's all of those gorgeous, shiny ribbons. Whoops, let's go this way. I love it, I love it. Look at that shininess. So now let's put them in the top. I'm still gonna, f hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Lordies, nice to see you again. Okay, I'm gonna put these, tie these down up here. And I am not going to crisscross them. I'm gonna just pull them out. Like so. There it is. Like to lost it, guys. And I love this black, this solid black one. Well, I love them all. But that solid black one. Oh, thank you. How's Florida? Nose is an itching, guys. Okay, that's fine, Ash. Don't worry about it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I've pulled all of these to the outside tonight. Instead of crisscrossing them. One reason is, is because I'm using a larger sign than I would normally use. This is the last one. I'm bringing them out. Okay. My nose is a itching. Okay. See how large that sign is? And I don't want to put it all the way into the middle. I want it to, to do it um, down a little because I want to save place for the bow right up here on top. And some other things. So I'm going to, and how I'm determining how I'm going to line my sign up is because I have two, three, 
These will be the corners, these ribbons right here and one in the center. The same way down here, I've got a ribbon for each corner basically and one for the center. Okay. And I'm just pulling some of this mesh. And what I did is I poked holes in the corner of my sign with a beadsmith. A beadsmith looks like this here. It's got a tiny little, and I poked holes, and I ran some 26 gauge wire through it. So now what I'm going to do, now that I've got it lined up to basically where I want my ties, need my sign. I'm going to use my little weaving teeter needle, push it down in there. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do this corner this tonight. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Might go up just a little higher. Okay. Pull that one down. I'm going to hold it and I'm just going to flip it over. So I can go ahead and I'm just going to twist these around this inside ring. I'm pulling it snug but not extremely tight. Oh, is that it? <laughs> I hope it's nice company. <laughs> okay. You know, the ones you like to come. I know we've all got them. Don't be no one telling no stories about there's some you just, I don't know. <laughs> Wish it was just a, okay now. <laughs> Get this other one, we'll get this tied on. Yeah. <laughs> get this one down there. Pull on that, plop it back over guys. If I try to go by feel doing this, I have my wire so tangled up in my mesh. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, come on. You guys can come. 
Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, this is a little different than traditional. But we will be adding a few traditional elements. Okay. Let's pull some of this mesh up here and here. There we go. So there's our sign. Okay. So let's set it over to the side. And let's make a bow. We all like bows on stuff. And then we'll do some, a couple of other things. Okay. So I know we're going to use the ribbon that we put in it. And... Let's see. So I have this black and white rickrack. Isn't it to die for? I love rickrack ribbon. So we're going to incorporate this in our bow. I'm going to go ahead and cut the end off of it. We already know we're going to put our bow up above. So I'm going to come out here to 8 inches. I'm going to twist it. Thank you. I'm going to bring this one down. One thing making bows is make sure I'm going to do this to a six and a half, guys. Six and a half. Six and a half. This one's going to go down. Let's bring that loop up. Bring this one down. And cut that off. Now we're going to bring in some black snow glitter with the... Um, the trim, the white snowy trim. <laughs> Rick Rack for Grandma, that's right. So now we're gonna bring in some of this uh, beautiful. We you know what? I'm gonna bring in a different one before I bring this one in. I'm gonna go ahead and let's bring in one that we use, a stripe one. I'm going to mash it down. I'm going to bring this one towards me. Six and a half also. Twist it. Six and a half. Smash it down in there. Pull it to the top. It's just so thick. Here we go. Cut us a tail. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Now, oops, don't want that to fall. Now let's bring this one in. The reason I wanted to bring these two in first 
is I wanted this one to be seen a little bit more and not to get hidden down in the stack. Okay. So I'm going to twist it. Bring it up. This one I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to a six. And a six over here. And I'm just putting this one smack dab in the middle. Okay? Still to where you can see each one of these ribbons by looking at them straight on. Okay? I love this ribbon. I buy it every year. Now then, we've got three. I think let's pull in our solid black one and a half. Push it down in there. I'm going to make this one at about a five. A five. We're going to pull this one top. Let's bring in this one we used. Twist it. Let's keep this one at about a five, two, and put it right in between those. About right. The key is to keeping all of them fluff. Are you all talking about me? Yes, I do sell, um, do I sell what first? Yes, I do sell my wreaths. Um, private message me or I can get a hold of you after the, so I can get a hold of you after the live. And I can give you all of the details. Okay, so now... Where did I put it? Oh, right there it is. Just a second. I put it back on the table. So now we're going to go into the center with some red. Just a little bit of red. Black and white with a splash of red, guys. This is like putting the cherry on the top. Okay, we're putting the cherry on the top. I love this red. It's a shiny red. Okay. So we're going to twist this 
bring it down and we're just gonna make a center loop with it just a center loop you just keep practicing and you'll be there in no time Sure, that got in there really nice and pretty. Okay, just a little smidgen of red on the top, guys. <laughs> got to, got to. Okay, so I take my two fingers, my middle finger and corner fingers. And I go up under here, and all I'm doing is finding where my dowel is. First, this ribbon was real thick, and I pushed it down in there. So I'm just going to maneuver it off. Now I am, thank you. Now I am, I've got my fingers right here on each side of the dowel, and my thumb on this loop. And I'm just going to apply some pressure, just pressure, guys. And I'm going to take me a pipe cleaner that I should have went ahead and tied two together, but I didn't. But we're going to make it work. We will make it work. Okay. And I'm going to hold my pipe cleaner taut while I move my thumb right there on top. Okay. I'm going to push down with my thumb and I'm going to pull with my pipe cleaner. Then I'm going to turn the bow, not the pipe cleaner, okay? And don't continue and continue to turn this um, pipe cleaner, the bow, because you'll snap it. Our bow is in position. I didn't move anything. So I'm just going to come up here and move our tails to where they should be, okay? Let's get us that one. Go to this side. Get back over there. And do our tails. Okay. And there's our one black one. And our white one. You get back over there. Then just take your hands. And all I'm doing is just barely fluffing these. Okay? Just barely fluffing these. They don't need a lot because we already had them in position. Then we're going to open our little red top knot. What I call it. This one's sort of crinkled. There we go. All I did was grab it and move it. Okay? And that's our bow. Just with our little cherry on top. Oh, goodness. You, you may be squeezing your bow too hard, and um, you're in the bow group, so I'll go over that the next time about how I hold my fingers and show you more um, up close how I, I hold my bow to bring it off the bow maker. So let's go ahead, and I may just want to... So I can have both of those little red ones coming down. Well, don't. Let's see. Right. I think right there. Okay. So first, since I didn't extend my pipe cleaner, I'm going to do it right here. No. No problem. I'm just going to twist them together. Twist 
twist it tight and I'm going to put another one on this other side. Okay, now then, I have all of that. Let's take our teeter needle, weaving needle, my helper needle. Okay. Mary, right there, center. <laughs> It's just a little harder when you extend them that way to get them all through the mesh. So take your time. Then I pick up mine. Make sure I don't have any loops and all of that. Perfect. to get it wrapped around there. There we go. Okay. Pull it down to where it's snug. To, not to where it's just, um, pulling your bow into your mesh. Okay. Then I manhandle them. Hi, Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cut some tails, and these on the front will be a little bit shorter, which is okay. Then we're just going to curl them. I do them all different sizes. Then I'm going to come back here. to watch these scissors. Going to lose some fingers with them. Spreading them out again. I love this. 
I love this. Okay. A couple of more things and we are done. Once to clean off our sign. I found the most adorable black and white houndstooth presents. Aren't those adorable? Houndstooth presents. I love them. Love them, love them. Okay. The easiest way to do these, because I like to wire mine in, is I take a... I should have brought out a... Just an ice pick or an awl because I want one of them to, to, to lay right down here. You know, we don't even have to do, well, we do, but I'll show you. I'm going to take this awl or an ice pick. I'm going through the fabric and everything. And I'm just making a decent size hoe. Because since I've already got this tie right here, I'm going to put the other half down, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that, and I'm going to stick that top thing up, and that's going to elevate it some. So I take this hole, I push the nozzle down in it a little bit, and I put a little bit on the outside. Then I just hold that tie and I run it in to that hole. Whoops, I said that. And I bend it. It's quite all right. Just do it again. It didn't want to obey me. Maybe it just needs to be sharper. Yep. That's all it needed to be. And I'll bend it over. Okay. So I have a little hound's tooth present. Keeping with our black and white theme. Okay. And I have two of them. And I think I'm going to put one right up here. There's my awl. And I want it to stand There it is. Okay. So lay that one back. And we've got that one in there like that at a little bit different angle. Which is going to be cute, which it can be bendable because that tie is bendable. Okay, now I have two pretty large black and white ornaments, okay? One is white with black, and one is black with a white design. And they've got little felt um, ribbons, okay? With this one, let me see if that's going to... No, nope. I'm going to take this to the, this side, 
I'm going to use my tie again because I like to be where I can tie stuff in. And I'm going to twist it. Okay? And then I'm going to take one right up here to this corner, this little white one. And let's tie this one in up here. Let me get the other end of that tie. And twist it in. I don't guess we will. I pulled the little twisty out of it. No problem. I bet we can fix it. That's glued on. So I'm going to hold it tight because it bends. Get me some glue on it. Put it back in there so that it will stick. Well, if I let it dry, it'll stick. Ouch, pinched my finger. Okay. Gonna put a little bit of glue on the the cap around it also. Get off my ribbon. I attach them several different, several different ways. I like to attach them, if this isn't glued, this one's already glued, I will glue them on, I will stick them through this, or I will attach a pipe cleaner to them, and then I will pull them down and wire them to the frame. Either way. Or, I glue them straight in. Lost my other side of it. There. Now then. And I think that's it. It doesn't need a lot of ornaments. You just take this ribbon, spread it out, And that's what we've got, guys. Shine's a little shiny. This sign is not as shiny as most are because this has a matte finish on it. What I did is I sublimated it with a matte finish blank um, and all. <laughs>